So if I can get down to the creek, I definitely don't want to be by the Widowmaker tree here. Um, I don't want my husband to be a widower yet. So, let's see if I can find a spot. When I'm looking for a place to think, I sneak out sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't happen often because the kids are usually on my heels saying, Mama, Mama, I want to go. This morning I needed to sneak out, though. I needed to, to get down by the creek and spend some time in prayer and, and thought and just just quietness. You know, just blessed, blessed quietness. Um, the creek, the creek holds this peaceful sound. It's, you know, the soothing shells. Oh, I had a soothing shell years ago. I used to love it. And I would play the babbling crick um, or the thunderstorm. And I would sleep so deeply. Uh, we had a lot of rain. Turn the camera around here. We had a lot of rain two day, for the past two days. It ended late yesterday in the evening. Um, the quick crick was really swelled up, although you wouldn't be able to tell it now. Um, it, it drains into the lake, goes into the Great Lake. Uh, couple miles from here the way the the way the road goes the way the crow, fl crow flies we're probably not even a mile away at night you can hear when the lake is pounding the shores that's another soothing shell cell another soothing shell sound all right but at any rate I don't know what you know I don't have a plan for this video I know it's been several days since we put one out and I just thought maybe I should throw an update out. Um, Ron's mother passed away two nights ago. And it's been, it's, it's been kind of hard on everybody, of course. Um, so we're just, we've been kind of reeling. She was in the hospital for over a week, almost two weeks. And uh, that's about the time that our, our videos decreased a bit, um, just because we've been that crisis mode but she lives down in southern Michigan and he was not able to get down there to be with her um, we had some vehicle repair that needs to be done and he wasn't able to get the vehicle in until today so he is going to be making a trip down there and um, depending on how what what's going on her memorial <coughs> excuse me and um, how we can finish getting prepped over the next several days up here uh, the children and I may go down if we can't get enough things done to have RJ set up to, to kind of do a one-man show for everything between business and the homestead. Um, we may not go down. It may just be that it's simpler for and quicker for him to to go on down by himself or with Josiah. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so as far as anything else homesteading I have nothing for you today old stutters I have nothing for you today I'm feeling pretty old myself right now um, I think part of being old stutters is dealing with loss and I mean that's unfortunately that happens when you're young too but as we get older we expect we you know we we accept loss maybe more readily as as we age because those that that we have to say goodbye to have have lived with quote you know a long and good life and we accept it a little bit easier than when we're younger when someone younger passes on um i think those are time those are times that we all get to evaluate our life and what we're doing with it what our thoughts are our our relationship with the lord is is it where it needs to be is it where it should be? Is it where you want it to be? Um, is it time to fill those dreams because life doesn't last forever? I, you know, it's... Old stutters are steady. You yeah, know, they keep going. They keep going and they keep going until they can't. I know a lot of you folks are in the middle of spring gardening and such. I look around here and we still got piles of snow, though they're limited. Um, it's still, the ground is still really cold and we're just not even near ready. I could plant seeds right now, start seeds in the house and um, the warm weather won't get here before the seeds are ready, if that tells you anything. So, um, um, kind of envious of everyone in more hospitable climates for, for their gardening at this point. Um, we're excited about the gardening season though. We're gonna, <clears throat> excuse me, 
With our forest floor, we have picked several different ways to decide to try how to make the most out of the production and we really haven't settled on anything yet. We're still in the experimental mode. We don't want to bring in um, soil that could be contaminated um, from GMOs and chemicals. So that kind of ties us, binds us. Um, organic soil is very expensive. Um, and so we're just kind of doing some research and, and playing with that. Um, we have no tutorials on any of our gardening right now. There's many of other channels that do as they have got. I've looked at, we're watching one and it was like, oh my goodness, they're, they're ready to start harvesting some of their stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, we haven't even got ground covering hardly coming up yet. We got little, we're starting to see little tips of things for the little wildflowers that say, oh, spring's here, let's shoot up. I just wanted to give a quick update. Um, why we have keep falling off the, the edge of YouTube here, praying everybody's doing well. Um, if you're interested as a Titus II woman, we started a Facebook page. I'm going to put the video at the end of here talking about that. Please check that out. Uh, just a quick update for men. Not that we're inviting you to this group because it's for women, but Titus II is not just for women. So if you are a Christian man, make sure you read that and hear what the Lord has to say for your direction and your leadership. Um, it's important because uh, the state of this nation is is caused by uh, I'm not going to talk about secular people but I'm going to talk about the Christian world not knowing what their responsibility is and being afraid to speak up to other Christians and it's time we just break the barriers and say hey this is what God expects from us so well, I just heard Ron pull in Ron and RJ pull in from dropping off the Suburban and um I'm going to end this, and I pray y'all have a great weekend. We'll check in when we can. Here's some of our ground covering, just shooshing up. That's about all the growth we got here, guys. So much for gardening season at this point in the UP without a greenhouse.